Hi, my name is Sheldon. And I'm Veronica. And now, how many of us here do not like to organize our closets? <laughs> how many of us here are sick of organizing your children's closets? <laughs> <laughs> many of us, obviously. Now, imagine a robot that can do it for you. That wow. was our project. <laughs> So our robot could essentially hang clothes for you, as well as find clothes based on color ranges that the user has specified. Now besides helping the general populace, this robot can specifically help those who are disabled and have difficulty moving throughout the closet, those who are busy throughout their day, either with work or school, or those who simply want an extra hour of sleep in the morning. So the goals for our project were to use a Scribbler and an Arduino. And as a Scribbler, as we have seen in a previous presentation, is a small red robot that is programmable and is essentially a Roomba. Meanwhile, an Arduino is an open source electronic prototyping platform, which is essentially a small programmable computer that can connect to various sensors, LEDs, and other components. Normally, these two systems have no form of communication. So, we use a system of LEDs and photocells, which are light sensors, to facilitate communication between the two. So, up here we have um, our Arduino communicating to our scribbler, <coughs> taping in LEDs in front of the light sensors, and below that we have a picture of a photocell dangling in front of the scribbler's LEDs. So, we used a continuous servos and a winch that mounted on top of the scribbler to move the arm. And we also use the Scribbler's infrared sensor mounted on top of it to navigate throughout the closet and detect obstacles. We also used Arduino buttons on top of the robot to determine are you hanging clothes or finding clothes. And we also programmed the Scribbler to recognize color based off of a specific range it generated from data from taking a picture. So, how does this all work? Here's our <laughs> massive flowchart. So you start the program, and the most important thing is that the Arduino has to detect the original light range that is being emitted by the Scribbler LEDs, so that later on in the program, it can tell when the Scribbler is trying to ch tell it something. It will change the LED values, and the Arduino can sense that. Then it's hanging or retrieving clothing. Let's just say, hypothetically, we are hanging clothes. The scribbler will find an uh, open space on the rack, and it will tell the, the Arduino will be told by the scribbler, like, okay, it is okay for you to start hanging clothes. The Arduino will then ha have the arm hang the hanger, and the Arduino will then communicate to the scribbler, I am done hanging clothes. The scribbler will return to the user. If we are retrieving clothes, the scribbler will then tell the Arduino, we are retrieving clothes, I am doing something right now. It will take a picture of a specific color the user puts in front of the camera and generate a range of values, RGB pixels, uh, that it can recognize as that specific color. It will then navigate counterclockwise throughout the closet and check every single obstacle it bumps into to see is that in the correct color range. If it is, then the scribbler will start beeping very annoyingly at the user and say, I have found your article of clothing. <laughs> If not, it will continue cycling through the closet and checking every obstacle. So here's a demonstration of our robot. So Veronica clicks the hang button, her hand acts as the wall, and the robot automatically hangs. Since we do not have an actual closet to hang, we simply use our finger. And the robot backs away from the wall. And in this one, Veronica clicked retrieve. So the robot beeps once to take a picture, it beeps again, and now it has to find blue. And now it will go through a closet looking for blue. If it finds a wall, it turns 90 degrees to the left. <coughs> and since it found blue, it starts beeping, alerting the user to know that it has found the clothes color you were looking for. So how can we improve this robot for the future. Well, firstly, we would like to create a mobile app for this robot so that we would like to create a mobile app for this robot so that you wouldn't have to physically get out of bed. You can simply stay in your bed, click on your phone, and have the robot bring your clothes to you. 
<laughs> Secondly, we would like to make it have a better system of communication, because although we did use the light sensors between the two to communicate, the Arduino and the Scribbler, we found that sometimes the light sensors aren't as accurate as we hope to be. Thirdly, we would like the robot to actually retrieve clothes as opposed to simply finding them, but to do so we would need to add another servo, and currently the robot is too small to handle that much weight on its arm, and that's why we did not have that. And finally, we'd like to make this robot adult size, because <laughs> currently the robot can only hang at most an infant size hanger with infant size clothes, <laughs> due to the scribbler being too small, again, to carry a large arm, and so we would have to scale up and give it also a stronger arm. And so we would like to thank our professors, Brian Kastner and Kurt Schergers, our teacher fellow, Shirley Miranda, and our teachers, Lucy, Luis, and Kelsey. Thank you. Okay, so the award for this is, <laughs> you might notice, this thing here, this massive piece of amazing equipment here, is all held together by glue. So the award is the best gratuitous use of thermodynamics. <laughs>